will also show other documents that point out to his ownership of the Vipingo Hotel. Mr. Speaker, may I invite my colleague, Mr. Masharia, to pick up from there? And thank you very much. Thank you, too. Would you wish to know how much time is remaining for you? Yes, uh, Honorable sir, sir, uh, Speaker. Okay, so far you've done one hour, two minutes. Okay. You have uh, 58 minutes. 58 minutes. The most for the preferred. entire cross-examination of this witness and those to come. Most obliged, uh, Honorable Senator. Uh, uh, speaker. Honorable Mutuse, Honorable Speaker of the uh, Senate. Honorable Mutuse. Um, yes, you say you are an advocate of the High Court of Kenya. Yes. When were you admitted? In the year 2018. 2018? Yes. So you've been practicing for six years? Indeed. According to the Senate website I'm reading here, between 2013 and 2022, you are the Chief of Staff at the County Government of Machakos. Is that correct? That is correct. So from 2018, to 2022, you could not practice law as a public officer. Is that correct? That is true. So you have not done any conveyancing transactions. Is that correct? That is not correct. How have you done conveyancing transactions as a public officer? I have academic, professional, and experience in conveyancing. Academic, not practical. Professional and practical experience in conveyancing. How did you do conveyancing while working for Machakos County Government? I was not in private practice, but I am involved in many... Yeah, name one, name one, one transaction, for example. Well, maybe you can't remember now. Maybe what? I cannot remember at the moment. You can't remember a single transaction in your illustrious law career you've done. Let's move on. Honorable uh, Mutuse. Yes. On what party were you elected when you came to Parliament? Mandeleo Chapter Party. Mandeleo Chapter Party. Yes. And um, you were elected uh, in the year 2022. Indeed. Is it correct to state that Mandeleo Chapter Party? is a member of the Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition. Yes, it is correct. Did you sign a coalition agreement to form part of that Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition? Yes, we did. You did. Do you have any role, any specific role in Maendeleo Chap Chap Party? No, I don't have. You don't have any role? Yes. I want us to deal with grounds. I believe um, um, your counsel led you on what he said jointly were grounds one, five, and six. Ground one and five and six deal with the utterances you stated. And let me get some facts straight from you. You said one of the things that vexes you the most about these utterances, you mentioned sensationally Rwanda, you mentioned Sudan, you mentioned various countries having problems. Is that correct? Yes, indeed. And you said that my client, the deputy president, was a deal in Molo during the clashes? I said, it is said that it was a deal in Molo. During it the is class. said? Yes. So this is not a fact? Yes or no? It is not correct that he was not a I deal mean, in Molo. I do not know it out of my own information, but it is public information. What do you mean by public information? Either he was a deal or he was not. Can you? Confirm yes or no? Was he or was he? Or don't you know? He was a deal. He was a, no Molo. Please let's not waste time. Was he a deal in Molo or was he not? To your knowledge, it is publicly alleged that he was a deal. To your knowledge, not to the public. To you, Mutuse MP Kibwezi, was he a, a deal in Molo or not? To your knowledge, I believe so. I'm not asking for your belief or imagination. Do you know or do you not know? Well, I do not have it as a matter of fact. Okay, let's move. Now, um, you confirm that you are a member of the Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition. Yes, indeed. Please go with me, if you will. Yes. To page 
417, Honourable Members, 417 of Volume 3 of the Deputy President's documents. And as um, you put a finger there, Honourable Mutuse, Honourable Members of the Senate, Mr. Mutuse, if you go with me to page 6 of Volume 1, this is the special motion. Volume 6. I said that page 417, keep a finger there, page 417 of Volume 3. These are uh, next chairs in support of His Excellency the Deputy President. Yes. And then Volume 1, which is your motion, at page 6 of 85. But let's begin with page 6 of 85. You're there, page six? Yes, I'm there. You're there. Yes. This is the allegation you see in the middle there, and I'll read for you quickly so that we don't get stuck, mm -hmm. which, which begins with the words, a government is like a company. Can you see that? A government is like a company. You can see that? Yes. I want you to show me where in that paragraph the word tribe, ethnic, Kabila appears, even once. It is not there. Go to page seven. Overleaf. Can you see the sentence beginning? Haiwezekani mtu ambaye alikuwa akikupiga kelele akichunga. Can you see that? Yes. Show me where the word Kabila, tribe, or ethnic, ethnicity appears. It is not there. Paragraph 13. A government is like a company. Can you see that at page uh, 7? Yes. Show me where the word tribe, ethnic, or Kabila appears. It is not there. Let's go to page 8. Sisi lazima tungiangalia nyinyi. Hii serikali ni kampuni na hii ni shares. Cindy, can you see that? Yes, I can see that. Show me where the word tribe, Kabila, ethnic appears. It, does, it doesn't appear. Paragraph 15, does it appear? What? At paragraph 15, at page 8 of 85. What, what does not appear? The same words, Kabila, ethnic, tribe. No, they don't appear. They do not appear. Mm. And finally, at paragraph 16, at page 9 of 85. You can see that? Let me read through. I can see nikuwa nikichunga mambo ya watu wa mlima. Very good. So mlima is a tribe. Is a region. Is a region. Can you please name for me the counties in that region? Several. Central is not a county. I have said several. Several. There are ten actually. Um, read them out. Kiambu. Mm -hmm. Rana. Mm -hmm. Nyeri. Mm -hmm. Embu. Mm -hmm. Rakanifi. Mm -hmm. uh, Meru. Mm -hmm. Nyandarua. Nakuru. Nakuru. Mm -hmm. Lakipia. Lakipia. Mm -hmm. Which other one? The ten. All of them. Okay. Now, do all those ten counties have one tribe? To your knowledge. They do not have one tribe. Thank you. Now, would you agree with me that the government or the party or the coalition that is the majority in the Senate and in the National Assembly is the Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition? Yes. So the ruling party is Kenya Kwanzaa? The ruling coalition. Is the ruling coalition? Yes. And they rule because they are a majority? Yes. You agree with that? Indeed. Very good. Now, to your knowledge, if you now go with me to page 417, is a letter, can you see that? Page 417 of volume 3 yes. of the Deputy President's documents. Can you see that? Yes. It is addressed to the Office of the Registrar of Political Parties. Yes. And it is signed by our professional colleague, Professor Kithure Kendike. Can you see that? Council for Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance Coalition. Yes. You can see that? Yes. In the middle, is a paragraph beginning with subsequently. Can you please read out for me the parties that were constituent parties of Kenya Kwanzaa? Subsequently, on 12th 
April 2022, the following political parties were admitted and signed to join the coalition pursuant to Article 24 of the Coalition Agreement. Chama Chakazi, Communist Party, Devolution Party of Kenya, Economic Freedom Party, Farmers Party, the Service Party, Tujibebe wa Kenya Party, Umoja na Maendeleo Party of Kenya, Democratic Party of Kenya. Thank you. If you go with me to um, the first of those coalition agreements, it is to be found at page 418. Can you see that? Yes, I am there. At the very top there, under the date, who are the constituents, who are the parties that have signed this agreement? United Democratic Alliance Party, and Amani National Congress Party, and Ford Kenya Party. Thank you. If you go with me to page 420, a few pages from there. Page 420 and there. Mm -hmm. Paragraph C, Article 5, Paragraph C. Please read that out fairly quickly. The validity or legality of this agreement may not be subject to challenge by any founding or future coalition member party or their re respective individual party members before any organ of the coalition. And Paragraph D? Any constitution, rules, regulations, or guidelines, whatever the nomenclature of founding of future member parties, which is not inconsistent with this agreement, is null and void to the extent of the inconsistency. So this is the master agreement of the Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition. Is that correct, yes or no? It is correct. Thank you. Do you know why these agreements are signed and under what law they are signed? Yes, I know. Please tell us. They are signed under the Political Parties Act to, for various reasons. Number one is... No, I asked you the law. Now, do you know what specific section requires a coalition agreement and what is to enter into a coalition agreement? Well, I not offer it, but I know. Schedule 3. Does that and ring a bell for you? The schedule 3 is what states what the elements of a coalition agreement. As a member of the Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition, according to you, yes, are these agreements of your coalition drawn in accordance with the law? Yes, they are. So they are lawful? Yes, indeed. They are enforceable? Yes, indeed. They are the basis upon which Kenya is governed? Basis upon which Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition is run? Is governing the country? The country is governed by the constitution of Kenya. Correct. But the Kenya Kwanzaa gov uh, uh, government that is governing, these are its constituent documents. This is the foundation of Kenya Kwanzaa. But they are not superior to the constitution. I did not ask for an argument. I asked, is this the foundational constitution? You just read about it saying that it is... Uh, it, is it is the coalition agreement for Kenya Kwanzaa, yes. Thank you, Thank you very much. Would you know whether Mandeleo Chap Chap signed any agreement to enter the Kenya Kwanzaa um, coalition? Yes. You did? I did, and they did sign. Are you familiar with the contents of that agreement? Yes, I am. You are? Yes. Are you certain about that? Yes, I know. Very good. Then let's first go to um, the, the documents we are reading here. Let's begin at page 426. Page 426? Yes. I am here. Article 19. Can you please read the heading? Article 19, sharing of county assembly responsibilities, top leadership. Sharing. Sharing. Very good. Article 20, please read the heading again. Sharing of leadership of parliamentary committees. Sharing. Yes. Let's go to Article 21. Sharing of national government responsibilities. Let us start with A. Uda shall nominate the coalition's presidential and deputy presidential candidates in the general elections of 9th August 2022. Did Uda provide the president and deputy president for Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition? Yes. They did? Yes. So that part of the agreement was implemented? Yes. Very good. Um, and then you can see at Article 21, either functions of the Deputy President is to chair committees over implementation of cabinet decisions and so on. Would you know whether this particular section was implemented or not? In, the, the, in terms of the functions of the Deputy President? Yes. Would you know? Yes. I, I, to the best of my recollection, it was put into effect through an executive order. So that was also implemented? Yes. Go with me to uh, page 428. Page 428? Yes. We are here. F. Can you see F at the top there? 
Yes, I can see F. A and C shall nominate the Prime Cabinet Secretary for appointment by the President of the Republic. Did the leader of A and C, was the leader of A and C nominated and appointed as the Prime Cabinet Secretary? Indeed. That is correct. Prime Cabinet Secretary and Cabinet Secretary for Foreign Affairs. You can confirm the name. What's the name? His name is Musalia Mudavadi. Mudavadi. Yes, very good. And the functions you see at J and I, was that also implemented? Yes, they were implemented. Very good. Let's go to page 429. Page 429, yes. Paragraph L at the top. Paragraph L at the top. Fort Kenya shall nominate the speaker of the National Assembly for election in accordance with the Constitution. Did Fort Kenya nominate and was the nominee in fact elected as the Speaker of the National Assembly? Indeed. Indeed. That was also implemented. Yes. Very good. Now, let us go to N. Please read out for 